to do another nail polish review and I, yeah I know my nails look janky as hell there's reason for that that was very much intentional so that I could show you how it wore after two weeks usually when I do these reviews it's after one week but this time mostly on accident it got pushed out to two so I guess I can show you how it wears if you keep it on for two weeks and don't touch it up or anything so this is a nail polish I got in Ipsy and I tried to research before I started this and very odd things I found about it but this is by a brand called Cuccio Color um, in the For Love of Color line I suppose in the color Gaia and it's a berry cream color so they say I would call it more of a reddish coral but we can agree to disagree on that Oh, goodness, but it's very strange, because I tried to go to their website to find it, to see if it's a current color in their lineup, which it's not. But then trying to even just, like, click on any color to see what their pricing looks like. Apparently, you can't buy this stuff unless you are a licensed salon or professional. You can't even view that information unless you have a license. Which is very, very strange. I'm like, oh, okay, you don't want to sell your products then. Fine, be that way. Um, and yet this one that people got in Ipsy and in Influencer, apparently people are reselling it no effing problem with no licenses. What do you know? So why you need one to view that information on their website is fucking stupid, if you ask me. But I've seen them go for as low as two bucks on Mercari. I've seen them go for as high as just under eight, and that is the top end, and that's usually for two bottles. So, I can't imagine this costs very much. Why exactly their website would want to hide that, I don't know. I don't understand at all. I am baffled by that, but regardless, not much information to be had anywhere on the box, because it just says for the love of color over and over and over, and has links to their social media. 13 milliliters anyway, which is 0.43 fluid ounces. That's literally the only info we have to go on. <laughs> okay then. So, even on the bottle itself, it just has a keep out of reach children warning. Pause 36 months after opening. Read more info. Where? Where the fuck am I supposed to read this more info? You don't provide us the more info. I don't understand. I don't understand. I am so perplexed by this product. Obviously, it is flammable. No shit, Sherlock. It's nail polish. They're all flammable. <laughs> You're really not telling us anything at all. But, I mean, the bottle, it's like a good size. I like the shape. It looks very nice. Um, kind of frosted plastic. And brushed silver around the rim there, but... Yeah, how much can I really say about it when they don't give us any information to go on? Even going on Ipsy's page for it, they don't actually sell it. They just have a product page there for when they give it out and people can review it there. And people have some very mixed feelings about this stuff. Because it looks like some people have had experiences where theirs was super thick and clumpy and they felt theirs was old. And I must agree with them that they must have had an old one because this for me is super soupy and really just loose. And I actually, the first time I tried to wear it, like watch, you, you can actually see it drip down. It is actually falling off because it's that loose. I am not shaking it. It's doing that on its own. It's going to drip back in the bottle. Like a normal... Yeah, there it goes. That's how fluid mine is. And the first time I tried to put it on back in, like, November, I didn't realize it'd be quite that watery. And, oh, my God, the mess it made of my fingers. It was everywhere. That's why I didn't film this back then. And then I didn't put it on again until recently. Uh, but I remembered this time, so I went very, very thin with it. But the people who had a thick and clumpy mess, yeah, they must have had old ones, I don't know. Because this is very much the opposite of that. It almost acts as though somebody added a crap ton of thinner to it or something. I don't know. But it's super loose. So, I don't know if they're all that way. Because the reviews I saw on Ipsy were so all over the board. Even, like, the color that people got from this exact tone 
seems like it was all over the board. And I'm like, I'm, what? How? Fucking how? Like, how are people getting orange out of this? I am perplexed. Regardless, um, their one claim that I could find on their own website without having to be a licensed member to log in to view such information is that it's supposed to be pigmented enough to get rich color saturation with one coat. And honestly, yes, they actually do live up to that. This finger right here actually does only have one coat on it because I forgot it's been a while since I've reviewed a nail polish. I forgot not to top it up when the first one came off. So I did, on one finger, top it up where it came off. But I only did one coat on that finger. Hold on, let me see what that message is real quick. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, uh, with one coat, I actually did achieve exactly the color that is in the bottle. If I show you side by side, that does look identical in one coat. I mean, like I said, it's all janky and chipped and stuff. Uh, this is after wearing it for two weeks, but regardless. Um, I generally like to do two to three coats on average. And when I first put this on, I did put on two coats. So my other nails were closer to a rich red color versus this. You can see there is a bit of color variation there in having the two coats. Um, I tried a third when I wore it back in November. It honestly didn't make a damn bit of difference with that third coat, so this time I omitted the third, I just did two, and at the end of week one, the only nail that had popped off was that one that I topped up because I forgot, and I was like, oh shit. And I was like, actually, let's just leave it on one coat, both to see how differently it wears and to show the color differentiation. So that's what I did there. And actually, most of the nails stayed good through about halfway through week two is when shit started going down and suddenly we've got nails that popped off in full. Uh, so, total, by the end of two weeks, because we should count that this one did at one point come off, that was the first one, we had one, two, three, and four that popped off. And then the rest are kind of jankily chipped, as we can see. Um, so that is very much a thing, but the ones that stayed in place actually, for the most part, stayed good. Like, look at this guy. There's really nothing wrong with that one except for a little bit of growth at the back of the nail in one corner. Um, this one, there's a lot missing at the bottom. This one's mostly just that one corner, but that's the one I topped up. This hand, my dominant hand, has had a lot more wear and tear on it. But that's also because I played ukulele, and it probably snagged and chipped the crap out of them. But I'm surprised that my left hand had more of the nails peel up and off than the right one this time. But still, normally, like most nail polish, at the end of two weeks, the grand bulk of the nails would have popped off by now or been more chipped than this of what's left. So actually, I feel like it did wear better than most average run-of-the-mill um, equatable, at least price-wise, nail polishes would be. I still do not feel this is salon grade. I'm sorry, I don't. For how cheaply it sells, I just, I don't think it's salon grade. So I don't understand why they're so secretive about selling it or even showing the information to somebody who doesn't work in a salon. But, on the other hand, it does wear a little bit better than average. So... For an actual rating, this is going to be tricky. Uh, I'm going to say that I will go ahead and give it a three and a half out of five stars. So it is slightly above average, but I count it as major points against it that they don't have the information readily available to anyone who wants it and won't let just anyone who wants to buy it buy it, even though you can apparently go through third-party sellers and buy it no problem. And not just this color, like most of them you can look up and you find them easily and they sell cheaply, so I don't quite get why this is even a thing. And it sucks because their color names are so freaking cute that 
if they were readily available from just they themselves to the ordinary average person, I would probably buy more of this. But because they're so weird about it, I'm almost like, well, you know what? Screw you too. I'm not going to now because you basically said screw you to me first. So, hmm, take that. But Which I know is totally petty, but, you know, for all of the nail polish brands that are out there, I can definitely buy other ones that wear about the same for about the same price range that don't give me that kind of runaround, you know? So, it is what it is. Anyways, that is about all I have to say for this stuff. So, it's a little weird. Don't have a whole ton to say about it because I don't have a lot that I can say because there's no info. Uh, but anyways, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already, you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Have you guys ever gotten this one in Ipsy or Influenced or anywhere else? Are you licensed and can actually buy this stuff and have bought it and used it? What were your experiences, good, bad, or otherwise? Let me know down below as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. And anyway, guys, until next time, see ya. Bye-bye.